Hello everybody, this is Electro Llama, and we're going to be giving you a tutorial on how to dock in Kerbal Space Program. So there are a lot of different techniques on how to dock. You can see some by Scott Manley and some other YouTubers, but uh, this is the technique that I use. I think it's really simple for beginners. You don't need to worry about rotating your camera, making sure the keys correspond to what you see. Uh, it's a lot simpler just using the mouth ball. And so I'm going to be doing it mostly in IVA, just to show you guys how simple it is. And if you're not familiar with IVA, uh, you just know there's the nav ball there, and to the right you have your, uh, your elevation. As far as what you need on your ship, you will need a docking port on the top obviously, you will need mono propellant, uh, this vessel actually has some, you might want a little bit more when you're first starting out, and make sure you have RCS thrusters. I usually use multi-directional ones on four sides of it. And this is the target. I'm going to target my space station. You can see that there's distance shown on the bottom. And it sometimes takes a while to figure out how close the target should be when you start launching. Uh, I usually wait until it says 400 kilometers. So I'm going to time accelerate until it's about there. Obviously, it depends on how high your target is. There we go. Okay, so here we go, we're going to start our launch. Uh, I have this one mod installed where you're able to connect cameras to the side of your ship. I think it adds a good cinematic feel to it. So I'm going to switch to the launch one right now. And we have liftoff. See, I think it looks pretty cool. Now what this uh, technique using nav ball is really good for is uh, when you're trying to dock something in some arbitrary orbit, all you need to do is get kind of close to your target and then use a technique that I'll explain in the video. And this works very well for like asteroids and stuff that are in really weird orbits. So I'm going to time accelerate just so it's not so boring for you guys. So I usually wait until I get up to 10,000 kilometers. You can see on the dial on the bottom right, right about now. But I can't really do it very well at this stage. And it burns out right on time, so it's not too much of an issue. There we go, 45 degrees. And what you want to do is you want to burn so that you end up in front of it. And you'll kind of see very soon Eventually, you'll have uh, you'll have markers showing your closest approach. Here they are. So I'm a little bit in front of it, but I want a little bit more space just so I have extra time. And you actually want to burn so that you end up higher than your target, and then that will change the markers. There you go. I see one. The purple ones are actually really close. That means that we're going to go above it, slow down since we're in higher orbit, and then descend upon it. So make sure you switch to target mode at this point. What you want to do is, uh, is burn so that you push the yellow marker, which is your retrograde marker, up towards the target marker right there. You can see a little bit on, uh, on time acceleration that is in fact pushing it up towards it. So what's good about this is the reason why it's not on 90 degrees is because uh, my target is in a slight inclination. And that's a good thing about this method is that you can use it in pretty much any inclination. There we go. We have a pretty good approach now, as you can see. And we are not even in orbit. So that's another good thing. It's, I think it's, I'm not exactly sure if it's more fuel efficient, but it definitely seems like it. Just because we're doing more precision stuff without actually being fully in orbit. And then we can actually get a little bit closer. You see that I drift a little bit. Move small burn there. You want to keep a reasonable amount of speed just so your approach isn't like an now or in the future or anything. So you can see we get a pretty good approach. And I make the mistake of not burning soon enough. So you're going to see a series of mistakes. I'm kind of used to larger crafts. Um, 
like kind of like refueling different ships and stuff. So I forget this doesn't have as much as much thrust to it. Yeah, and I overshoot it. This is actually a good time to demonstrate that when you have your prograde marker, burning will actually attract that marker. So you want to line those up as well, and that will give you another good approach. But I notice that approach is very soon, so I turn over quickly, and yep, I am very close to my target going very too fast. But I managed to save it, which is good. So I'm just going to cancel all my velocity. So you see that docking port right there? That's the one that we want to dock to. Then what I do is I have docking ports on each side. So that's the one we want to dock to. And then that one, if you set that, if you control from there, you can see exactly what direction you need to be facing so that you're exactly parallel with one another on the other side. So what you want to do is thrust away from it using the translation keys. And then that'll pull the pink marker towards the direction you're facing. Make sure you have both RCS and SAS on. You see it's attracting the pink marker. And as long as you have the pink marker lined up with the direction you're facing, uh, it'll be pretty lined up. Now you see the prograde marker there. We're translating towards it. You can see we're getting a little bit closer to it. So this will actually push the pink marker towards the direction you're facing. And pretty much the only thing involved is keeping pink marker between the direction you're facing and your prograde marker, which is the yellow one. Usually I like to go about uh, 0 0.5 meters per second. Fortunately in IVA you can't really see how fast you're going, so I actually went pretty slow on this one, not really realizing it. See, so there we go, I just kind of moved. I use like pretty much only my translation keys. Uh, you can look up the controls for that. It's pretty important to learn how to do that when you're trying to talk. There we go, and then you can just let it sit there. And what this shows is that you are lined up with your target. Uh, since you didn't really and since you lined up beforehand, you know that you're parallel with it and you're going towards it. So we just kind of wait. And again, I'm going too slowly, so this is actually four times speed. Not sure why I went this slow. You can actually go like faster and then slow down once you get there. And then, ta da, we've docked. So I think this method is really really simple just because like a lot of other methods you have to figure out which keys correspond to which directions and this will allow you to dock with things that are in inclinations. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions include them in the comment section. Also um, once I have more time I'm thinking of making kind of series and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.